Now at 11, fast and furious, a powerful line of storms blows through the region, giving us some incredible shots of lightning strikes, including this one in Media, Delaware County. The wicked winds left their mark tearing down trees and leaving thousands of people in the dark tonight. And as the storm passed through, we were treated to this spectacular sight. Bolts of lightning streaking across a double rainbow in Orland, Montgomery County. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Hi, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. It is also primary night in Pennsylvania, and you can see the results at the bottom of your screen. We'll also have updated numbers for you in just a few moments. First, it's the aftermath of tonight's severe storms that even produced a tornado warning in some areas. You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News at 5. Woodlawn, you want to talk about a close call for a county officer. Brian Kubler tells us what happened when the officer got out of his patrol car. An announcement tonight from the woman who was Kevin Kamenitz's running mate. Valerie Irvin decides to stay on the ticket in the race for governor. All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome in. It's 5 o'clock in Baltimore. I'm Jamie Cassell alongside a Kelly Swoop. That's right. Frederick County residents continue to deal with the devastating flooding. It's been a mess. The city and the county have declared. Hey everybody, I'm Skylar Henry. And I'm Mallory Safoste. Wrap up your weekends with us on WMAR 2 News. Sundays at 6.30 and 11 p.m. You're watching WMAR 2 News with Jamie Costello and Kelly Swoop. You know, when you watch Mercy High School play lacrosse this mm -hmm. last four years, you always saw Katie Abel in the mix. And for the past four years, she's always been in the championship. Coincidence? The corners of a city street, a table in a cafe seat. My home team is everywhere I go. You're everywhere, got you in a armor. Everywhere I roam. You're everywhere, got you everywhere. Everywhere I go. the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News at 6. A controversial arrest caught on camera. What was captured that led to the charges being dropped? I have seen the accident scene. I can only describe it as horrific. A school field trip turns tragic. A bus ripped apart after colliding with a dump truck, and we're told some people did not make it. And the rain's still coming down. How flooding is impacting people living in Frederick County tonight. All right, welcome in at 6 o'clock time for the news with Kelly Swoop. I'm Jamie Costello. Charges are now dropped against an Anne Arundel County man after police. You're watching Eyewitness News at 9 on Fox 5. Come visit. Know what's happening now from your neighborhood to our world. Between the newscast, watch WECT News Now live weekdays at 11 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. on WECT.com, Roku, and Amazon Fire. CPI Secure it. Barbecue safety tips. Let's grill some burgers. Got the burgers. How to keep your family safe while cooking out this Memorial Day. All right, my friend. All right, bon appetit. Next, Inside Edition. Weekdays at 4.30 on WECT. The scene where news happens. Working harder and digging deeper in our never-ending drive to report the facts. WECT, where news comes first. Well, join me weekdays at 4.30 right here on WECT, where news comes first. Where news comes first. This is WECT's Carolina in the Morning. Streaming live on WECT.com and the WECT News app. Good morning. Thank you very much for staying with us here on Sunday and Carolina in the morning. I'm Bill Murray and for Zach Driver this morning. Hey, we've been talking about the 2018 hurricane season and what. Live from the WTXL studios, this is ABC 27 Sunrise. Our first alert weather team is tracking a tropical system brewing in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, and that system is expected to bring heavy rain throughout much of the Memorial Day weekend. Let's go. Free wireless adjustable base. So this thing has considerable force. 
Hurricane season is almost here. Are you ready? The WTXL First Alert Weather Team is helping you prepare for the upcoming hurricane season. Join us for the WTXL Hurricane Special Friday, June 1st at 7.30 p.m. And immediately following, Chief Meteorologist Casanova Nurse answers your hurricane-related questions during a special Facebook Live session. Don't get caught off guard. Get prepared now. Wow, what a... It takes two to dance. She threatened me. That's not true. You're nuts! But it takes three to tangle. Three opinions. Get him out of my courtroom. Three personalities. Not everybody's the three of us. Hot bench. <laughs> Weekdays at four. Kia is America's... Your Florida Christian, 21 outs away from a state championship last night. Tonight on WBOC News at 11. A Delmarva school district is in search of more money to stop a massive teacher exodus. And that planned summit between the U.S. and North Korea may have hit a snag. Heavy thunderstorms across Dorchester and Sussex counties. They're moving south and a rare weather event off our coast this evening. I'll tell you more about that coming up. Now, WBOC News at 11. Delmarva's News Leader. Good evening to you. I'm Todd Carley. Chris Weimer is off tonight. Powerful storms packing high winds, torrential rain and hail slammed heavily populated parts of the northeast tonight. That's in your consumer news tonight. Uber says it is getting rid of its. All right, Dan's here now. Safe to say not as bad as we thought, but still no, a pretty good yeah, storm. Yeah, good rain, thunder, light. In tonight's health beat, women who received an. Rookies rule the Eagles' nest at least last weekend. From the capital of Wyoming, this is News Channel 5. News this morning. Good morning, I'm Kayla Dixon. It's 5 at 30, Tuesday, June 12th. And I'm meteorologist Andrew Brightman. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. It's a Tuesday morning mm -hmm. in the capital city, Kayla. And also your... Time now for your exclusive forecast. Good morning and welcome back. Current conditions right now in the capital city. Coming up in a CNFR time, we bring you all the action and what you can expect at this week's rodeo. Plus, Senator Barrasso pushing a carbon capture bill in the Senate. We discuss what that means for the state. And we continue with our election coverage. Tonight, six candidates met in a forum to discuss their plans for the state. You're watching the K2 News at 10. Good evening, Wyoming, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sloan Dickey. And I'm Stephanie Chavez. Monday marked day two of the CNFR, and if you missed Good Morning, Wyoming, a slew of athletes and other special guests stopped by talking to K2's Hallie Jones and Philip Bonatti. They Wyoming's news leader, K2TV, is working hard to bring you the news you need to know. Tune in weeknights at 5, 6, and 10 p.m. for Sloan Dickey and Stephanie Chavez. They'll give you the latest local, state, and national stories that are making headlines. Chief Meteorologist Eric Dean will have your complete forecast. And Carmine Jamey will give you the latest scores and highlights. Get the news you need to know. Watch Wyoming's news leader on KKTQ, ABC Cheyenne. Southeastern Wyoming that has since uh, expired so nothing secret mission to Hawaii revealed then it was the TV wedding of the year the Big Bang Theory's Maya Bialik shares her one regret about Amy finally marrying Sheldon next weekdays at 1230 on Cheyenne's news leader KKTQ we've got you covered Wyoming on KKTQ ABC show you're watching the K2 news at 10 Welcome back. And now to that historic meeting between the President of America. Hello, Wyoming. I'm Keenan Sanders. I'm Stephanie Chano. And I'm Sam Postage. Coming up tomorrow on Good Morning Wyoming, we're continuing our week of Father's Day giveaways. You're going to want to tune in and submit those pictures for your chance to win. Plus, we're going to have our pet of the week with the Casper Humane Society, another little furry friend looking for a new home. And yeah, there's a lot of sunshine out there into the 90s by about Wednesday, then thunderstorm chances this coming weekend. I'll have more details tomorrow. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Have a great day, everyone.
something. By all means, news leader K2 TV covers this state like no other television station can. If you didn't watch the K2 news recently, here's what you missed. An old, tired looking prison on the plains. This, how Randy Ludden, the namesake of the Ludden Library at LCCC, describes the soon to be demolished building. About a $6.2 million renovation expense. If you're not watching K2 News, you're not watching Wyoming News. Coverage you won't get anywhere else. Watch Wyoming's News Leader on KKTQ. Where my children live. This is where my grandchildren live. It's local news that really counts. Well, I'm going to wake it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> right now, WDBM News begins with your forecast first. Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you've had a great day today. Looking at your forecast first overnight tonight. Look for a few clouds overnight tonight. Then as we head towards your day tomorrow, looks like we could see some scattered showers and possibility of a couple of thunderstorms or two. Otherwise, as we go through the night, we'll be dropping down into the mid to upper 60s. Some of us will stay in the 70s, however. 72 degrees by 12 a.m., 68 by 6 a.m., by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, make sure you have a jacket. 72 degrees. Your local news at 10 starts right now. Leading the way with stories that matter. WDVM, your local news leader at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us for the news at 10. I'm Thasmeen Mafus. Our top story, a fatal crash in Allegheny County this morning left a baby dead and her mother seriously injured. Around 7... Covering Hagerstown, Frederick, Alexandria, and Winchester. You're watching WDBM News, your local news leader. The Tacoma Park Police Department is mourning the loss of 13-year veteran detective Sergeant Matthew Barber. Last from your local news leader, serving Northern Virginia and the Shenandoah Valley, this is the Northern Virginia News on WDVM. Good evening and thank you for joining us for the Nova News. I'm Thasmeen Mafus. Our top story, the Winchester Police Department say KKK flyers were distributed throughout several Winchester businesses. Flyers... Covering Woodstock, Mount Jackson, Mount Pleasant, and Wadesville. You're watching the Nova News on WDVM. Officials say CPR is a technique many people... To the weekend. I'll have a closer look at that coming up, but for now, we start your morning news. Our top stories this morning. More tragic news has been released on the Ellicott City flooding as the body of a missing Maryland National Guard member was found in the Patapsco River. Also, see how neighboring counties can lend a hand to more than 70 flood victims who have no home. That and more coming up this Wednesday, May 30th, on your WDVM Morning News. Leading the way with stories that matter. WDVM, your local news leader at 5.30. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Adraypak. And I'm Ross Simpson. We begin this morning with more on the Ellicott City flooding. As officials say, the body of 39-year-old Edison Herman was found in the Patapsco River Tuesday morning. Herman... Of on the next Supreme Justice. So now that this is out there in the world, I guess it's over for you and Eric. Yes, absolutely. You don't want to be friends with him. Or... No, God. And WDVM. It's time to upgrade. Coming up today at noon, there are traffic changes drivers should be aware of as a bypass project begins this week. We'll let you know about alternate routes you should take. All that and more today at noon on WDVM. The this is KIDK Eyewitness News 3. The Idaho Department of Fish and Game is looking for whoever leashed a deer. Game officers responded to a home this past Wednesday in the Gibson Jack area just south of Pocatello. About the cast for the weekend, coming up. This is KIDK Eyewitness News 3. When news happens.
Eyewitness, KIDK Eyewitness News 3 is there. The city of Blackfoot is working on controlling flooding. The people of Blackfoot are hoping to save their swimming pool after a bond to revitalize it failed. Eastern Idaho State Fair announced their theme and lineup for 2018. Today was a groundbreaking ceremony for a local business in Blackfoot. After two years of hard work, it's finally build week for the new Soda Springs Community Playground. KIDK Eyewitness News 3. News to fit you. Camping World's Big Fruta is considering a cell tower in order to boost internet speeds in the west side of the valley. And we'll meet some horses in Olathe being trained to give a little therapy. Live from Grand Junction, this is the 10. 10 straight minutes of news starts now. The plunge will be uh, sort of the pinnacle trail that makes the 10 weather with Butch McCain. Chickens, pigs, dogs, horses. Mm -hmm. I'd be in hog heaven on mm -hmm. that place. So nice. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the time I was a rancher up in Wyoming working for a ranch. I got kicked yeah. by a horse. Did you? Oh, yeah. did have your it does happen. Houses. I'm You're still standing. You're watching the 10 with Gene Reynolds, Matt Vanderveer, weather with Butch McCain, and Julian Minnenzone with sports. Primary voting ends one week from tonight, and though you don't need me to tell you that because there is a mass Texas happening in Colorado. We told you to get in this age of information headlines find you on your phone in your feed and in your conversations with friends at KKCO 11 news. We make sure you know more. We're committed to going beyond the headlines, asking questions and finding out how the stories of the day impact your life. A different philosophy, a different team. Why KKCO 11 News? We've made Western Colorado our home. A news team that not only covers the community, but reaches out to it. KKCO 11 News. No more. KKCO 11 News. No more. I'm Morning Maker Sarah Swabby. We hope you'll join us for Daybreak tomorrow morning for the start of your Wednesday. We'll be updating the big headlines overnight and have the stories everyone's talking about. Join us first thing tomorrow. We're on from 5 to 7. From the station that brings you local news first, Fox 4 Local News at 6.30. Good evening and thanks for watching Fox 4 News at 630. I'm Shelby Bracho. We have new information for you on the fatal crash in Loma that killed a Fruta woman on Sunday night. The Mesa You're watching Fox 4 News at 630 with Shelby Bracho, Chief Meteorologist Greg Rule, and Sports with Troy Lynch. This is Fox 4 News at 630. Welcome back. I'm now joined by Katie Nelson with Mesa County Public Health. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And your weather numbers for the day here in the Valley. Seasonal right where we should be to end off the afternoon at 89 degrees. Reality. Accurate and reliable weather first. The Western Slopes Chief Meteorologist, Greg Rule. Welcome back. I'm Shelby Bracho filling in for John Madden in sports because, well, he's lazy. With plenty of returning starters, some thought the Grand Junction Rockies might have a good start to the season. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you at 9. Hey, it's America.